I really smell like dog now. <laughs> Welcome to my third video in my series on Parkinson's disease. I, I didn't know it was going to be a series when I started, but there we go. Isn't it funny how life takes turns that you don't expect? To start off, here's a summary of my last two videos, although I do also thoroughly recommend watching them. The chemical dopamine acts as a key which unlocks our ability to move when we want to. In Parkinson's, neurons that release dopamine in the brain die, particularly in an area called the substantia nigra. This means there are fewer keys and so we can't unlock movement. However, we can treat Parkinson's by giving patients L-dopa, the chemical needed to make dopamine, or by putting an electrode in the patient's brain, which acts as a fake substantia nigra and activates movement again. Unfortunately, these methods only treat the symptoms and there is no cure for Parkinson's. Yet. So that brings us to the present day, i.e. this video right here, and the question, why can't we cure Parkinson's yet? Warning, scary fact alert. By the time the physical symptoms of Parkinson's show themselves, around 50% of the neurons in the substantia nigra are already degraded. That means that if this is your substantia nigra, instead of looking like this as it would in a healthy person, it looks like that. That is bad. When Parkinson's patients are going to the doctor with their initial symptoms and getting diagnosed, half of their substantia nigra is already gone. So, we need to detect Parkinson's in these early stages when neurons are dying but physical symptoms haven't yet shown themselves. In other words, we need to get our detective on. And a brief pause in proceedings whilst I change into something more mysterious. I'm gonna go do some detecting, let's go. I look far more terrifying than I initially intended. So, our task is to diagnose Parkinson's in someone who hasn't shown physical symptoms yet. The first question to ask is, if I could look into the brain of someone with Parkinson's, what would I see? Well, firstly, neurons in the substantia nigra would be degraded, as we've already discussed. But there is another clue we can look for. Hmm. Yaha! This is called a Lewy body. It's basically a blob made up mostly of a substance called alpha synuclein. Double whammy science word! Lewy bodies which contain alpha synuclein. Lewy bodies are characteristic of Parkinson's disease, appearing in the brains of people with the disorder. The key thing is that before the physical symptoms of Parkinson's start showing themselves, these Lewy bodies are already appearing in the brain. They're kind of like sneaky little Parkinson's ninjas. So, the presence of Lewy bodies could be the clue that suggests someone is going to develop Parkinson's as they age. The thing is, I'm a pretty good detective, but I can't just open up your brain and start digging around for Lewy bodies. So, we need to find a way to detect I'm a detective. Their presence without looking inside the brain. Now, hold on to your hats because we're getting into some experimental science here. This is very current research and the methods I'm going to talk about are still being looked into. Forward your mail to the edge because that's where we're living. If we can't look in the brain, then we're gonna have to look somewhere else. Fortunately, it's been found that lumps of alpha synuclein don't only occur in the brain, but somewhere that you might not expect. And let's just say, alpha synuclein, it's got guts. Your guts. Yep, some lumps of alpha synuclein have been found in the cells that make up the lining of your intestine. So, some researchers think that if we take a sample from your gut and find Lewy body like alpha synuclein clumps in there, that could predict that those clumps are also forming in your brain, which then could predict that you're going to develop Parkinson's disease. Now, that's quite some detective work, right? That something in your gut could predict something that's going on in your brain, which could then predict something which might take over your whole life. I think that's enough detecting for now. See you later. 
So Louis bodies are the kind of calling card of Parkinson's if you will, but if they leave their mark somewhere other than your brain, then we may be able to catch them out and diagnose Parkinson's earlier. And it's this earlier diagnosis that's key, because if we can catch out that neurons are dying, then we can hopefully find a way to stop any more from dying, and so hopefully stop the further development of Parkinson's. Okay, so there we have it. There's still a lot to say about Parkinson's, but I think I'll move on to something else in the next video. Probably. Seriously though, if you have any questions, do please ask them about dopamine, about Parkinson's, about neurodegeneration, about moustaches. Thanks so much for watching, I really do appreciate it so much. Have a lovely day, and remember, keep asking questions. ba -da, here's a summary, give it a pause if you want to, give it a read if you want to. And now, brought to you by the outtake section, is the makings of a detective. Bonjour, c'est moi, Poirot. I need, I think I need a hat. Detectives often have hats. This doesn't really scream detective. It screams more sort of Super Mario variety act. Bonjour, no. <laughs> well, that isn't gonna work, is it? I can't, I simply can't. The only, the only other hat I have is this one. So this can, this can be my detective hat, I think. <laughs> a loop of hair, what could it mean? The word smells got really weird. Smell, 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 smell. When I say your guts, it sounds like I'm saying like yogurts in a really weird way. Yogurts, <laughs> yogurts. <laughs> oh, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a dog, can't get no. <laughs>